In this video, I wanna show you guys, I had a specific question. If somebody came along and we, I'm gonna go into the customer center. And so I created a little sample of what the question was. So say we had a customer who came in and they spent a hundred dollars with us. In this example, there was sales tax. And then they, at the time in between when they purchased it and they're getting ready to do a return, they made a payment. And so now they have a, made a payment we applied it towards the invoice of $20. Now they've decided to come back and return the entire item. So really we owe them back the $20 and then the credit that we need to apply. How do we enter that into QuickBooks? So what I recommend you do is you go into the customer center, you find the original invoice, you open it up and you're going to click refund slash credit. You're gonna go ahead and refund and credit them for the amount. And when you click save and close, I'm gonna save it anyway, it will say, do you wanna retain the credit? Apply it to the invoice or give a refund. We're gonna click apply to invoice. Then they're still gonna have a remaining credit of $20. So we're gonna click done. Now we need to give our customer this $20 check back. What's the easiest way to do that? We're gonna go back into the credit memo, $20 remaining balance. You'll notice up here at the top, it says use credit to give refund or use credit to apply to invoice. I'm actually gonna click now, use credit to give refund. You'll notice it gives you the customer's name, the amount of money that we're gonna refund them, the $20 the way you're gonna refund it, whether you're gonna give it to them in check or through credit card. And if you have any memo, you can do that. If you want to print it, you can click to be printed. If not, you can uncheck that and put in the check number that you are giving the customer. I'm gonna click to be printed and I'm gonna click okay. Save it without classes. And now it zeros it out. You'll notice if I click save and close, I have my original invoice. They gave me my payment. I applied the credit memo. I did it in, in order of what happened per my question that I received. Then I gave them a check back for $20. I could go in now and click print checks. My $20 will sit there. Or you can go into the check register and you're gonna see the $20 check here. So in the end, our customer, they gave us $20. We gave them back $20 and they completely returned what they had purchased. I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And if you are looking for a training on how to really optimize QuickBooks, feel free to check out Confidence QuickBooks. And if you don't wanna miss any of these tips up above or down below, you can subscribe to get the tips and tricks emailed to you. And when I do live webinars, I will give you guys a notification. Have an amazing day, bye.